It's time to actually put all this shit about disrespecting this generation's players. And yes, Michael Jordan, John Morant will cook your ass. And so will a lot of other players in today's NBA. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, I am your hostess, as usual, Rashid White. All right, so as everyone already knows, I'm not getting into the whole story. This is like, um, by the time this video comes out, probably old news, but I'm actually, actually giving my perspectives here that, listen, man, <laughs> these players today, man... <sighs> Uh, 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 just some, I've been watching basketball for 25 years and I'm getting tired of all these people, these Jordan fanboys over here saying that how he, how Jordan is the greatest player ever. And, and I did multiple videos on this and he's not the greatest player ever, ever. If you actually want to go by just pure skill, I don't want to hear rings because Robert Ori, I think has about five or six. Bill Russell has 11 rings. So then he's the greatest player ever. Then Robert Ory's one of the greatest players ever. Give me a break with that. Michael Jordan actually had a really, really good team. Basketball is not boxing. It's a team sport. And let's get into uh, and what John Moran actually says. Yes, he will destroy Michael Jordan, especially in today's NBA with no hand checking. And now he's not the only player that can bust Michael Jordan's ass. You, you, you guys are forgetting about Giannis Antetokounmpo? I mean, do I actually got to pull up some highlights over here, man? I mean, YouTube would demonetize the video, man. But, I mean, Giannis is a force. A force. <laughs> I mean, i never seen anything like it. I mean, in terms of just, like, pure dominance. Probably even, even Shaquille O'Neal actually said that Giannis is actually much more dominant than him and then better than him uh, uh, when... Uh, he was actually 24 years old. I mean, Giannis is a force. There's no, I mean, there's three, play, I mean, he dunk on three players right around the rim. Jordan couldn't do that from like, like a standstill position. The dude is seven feet. I mean, the type of pressure that he actually puts on a defense is insane. I mean, you know, you get these Barkley guys and all these people here. And I'm watching this Dream of Sports Pro show. And I hate to diss other content creators, man. But, bro, you don't know what you're talking about, man. You know, and I'm not saying, I know we know that Michael Jordan's a skilled player. He's much more skilled than Giannis. Uh, he's more skilled than, than, than the LeBron James, in a sense, though. But if you're picking a team and you had a choice between Michael Jordan in his prime or Giannis in his prime, like right now, this Giannis. You're a dumbass if you actually, I'm not talking to the to the audience, but I'm talking about this uh, um, this Dream of Sports Pro uh, 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 idiot right here, man, because he's like calling people stupid, you know, because they actually disagree with him. And I listen, Giannis is just on another level. We've never seen anything like it. And, and they're they talking about, oh, yeah, John Morant can't buzz Jordan's ass. Oh, you mean the same uh, uh, game I was watching between the Lakers uh, I think it was in 19, I forgot what it was, 90, 95, 96. I forgot what year it was. But Nick Van Axel, uh, they tried to trap Nick Van Axel. Nick Van Axel, yeah, he's a lefty, but he tried to fake right and then comes back left. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen falls into the crowds. <laughs> You're talking about the same Michael Jordan who actually says that, oh, uh, Gary Payton actually gave him fits. Gary Payton was 6'3", 190. And I'm not saying that Gary Payton can actually stop Michael Jordan, but let's say if you want to look at efficiency numbers. So I'd say 20 shots. I'll say 22 or 23 shots against uh, against Gary Payton. Uh, Jordan's only making nine or 10 of those shots. So if, he, if, if Gary Payton actually gave him fits, what the hell you think he's going to do against Giannis Antetokounmpo? I mean, Kevin Durant is another player that we never seen. I mean, we never seen anything like him. Anything like him. Name me a seven-footer in a league back in the, the old days that can handle the ball, sh shoot off the uh, shoot off the dribble, catch and shoot, pull up. <laughs> I mean, pass, play defense, plays one through five, guards one through five. LeBron James is a force yes and he was saying how kobe bryant was actually better than him 
Yes, Kobe Bryant was much more skilled than LeBron James. But in terms of like the type of pressure that LeBron James and his prime can actually, I mean, still can, can actually put on a defense, it's, 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 it's insane. Uh, is everybody actually forgetting about the, the, the 2007 Cleveland Cavaliers team that he actually dragged to the finals with uh, uh, um, Zajunas Algalskis as his, probably his next best player? And um, who was the other dude? Booby, I forgot the guy, the, the, the little point guy. I mean, he had, he had no squad. He was the only player. He got, he got them to the finals. I don't think Jordan can actually take that team to the finals. <laughs> I mean, he was... He was, um, he got bumped out the first round. You can even say that, look, Michael Jordan was a low basketball IQ player because Phil Jackson actually had to come in and tell him, hey, you want to score 60 or you actually want to get your teammates involved and and, um, and and probably win games. And the, the roster that was constructed, you had uh, Ron Harper, he was 6'6", 220. <laughs> it's a matchup nightmare for most point guards out there. All right, so I just want to put this whole thing to rest, man. And, and to, today's players are like nothing that we ever, ever have actually seen before. Never seen anything like Giannis. I mean, I could throw Kyrie Irving in the mix. He'll bust Michael Jordan's ass. Are you crazy, man? <laughs> that dad, definitely Michael Jordan was actually stronger than him, but with no hand checking, man. And, and um, uh, let's say a Cleveland Kyrie Irving. You know where he was actually just uh actually, i mean he was taking it to to like like i see him Giannis chest joel and beach chest just taking it right to their chest and finishing and these are like i mean like super athletic fast twitch muscles guys what the hell you think michael jordan's gonna do even steve kerr says hey i couldn't play in today's nba we got to start giving these young guys much more props. I mean, I, I'm, I'm throwing in Luka Doncic. Jesus. Who's actually much more skilled than Michael Jordan. Now, Jordan's definitely a better athlete in a sense, though. And, and, um, and, and definitely puts more pressure. On, I, and I don't even know about that. Giannis is a problem, man. I mean, they they double him and, and, and um, he gives teams fits. Especially when they have all the zone defense and they, they come up and they, they, they trap him midcourt and Blitz him, and I mean, he still gets his numbers off, man. So, uh, yeah, Michael Jordan and, and, and today's NBA without the hand checking, and I keep saying this without the hand checking, they think, oh, hand checking is much, much harder. No, no, no. Without hand checking, I got to use all my lower extremities, my, my ankles, my knees to try to stay in front of these guys. I mean, have you ever watched Giannis play in person? I did twice. I mean, you got six three guards that can't strip them. You know, I mean, if you if you know anything about NBA players, they have lightning fast hands. I mean, lightning fast hands. You go against an NBA player, and um, especially like a lot of them are really good defenders, man. I mean, my boy uh, Eric Hill Jr. Uh, he's an actor. Try to get him on the show, man. He's six three, one ninety, man, and, and he dunked on me. With no shoes on in the concrete, left hand, off hand. Yeah, he want, and, and once he once he gets his, he has he has NBA athleticism. So once he actually gets his defense, his like um, his feet set on you defensively, man, it's just hard getting around him. You got to make your move in like two seconds just to get around him. Now imagine Giannis, seven foot. And guards can't even strip him. So what the fuck you think Michael Jordan's gonna do against him? Man, y'all guys gotta stop all you old heads. Get out the fantasy. Stop letting mainstream media gas your heads up. And, and, and they, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, he was a great player. But yes, he had a great team that was actually constructed around him. And thank God that nobody actually got hurt. And, and, and you're talking about like he won. He was Utah. He won against with. Jeff Hornacek, said, Carl Malone, who had to actually get set up, and John Stockton, who was probably, you know, they didn't really have a high percentage one-on-one -on -one player, man. Come on. <laughs> and then my, the, my, the Michael Jordan Bulls team couldn't even beat Kevin Durant's Golden State Warriors. That That's just, come on, that's one of the, probably one of the greatest teams ever constructed in history. 
Get off the high emotional rage, you know? And I know it feels good. It feels so good. I get it. I feel so good. But you guys got to stop disrespecting these young players because they just, it's, it's on another planet compared to the uh, 1980s basketball players. All right. So if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace out.